Hey, this is David B69. Welcome to today's video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Let's get on to the show. This is David B69, and here we are. We are on the last video of my current NES collection. Um, as always, I've been asked actually recently that am I still collecting stuff for like Super Nintendo and NES and other things? Yes, I'm still shopping for that. I basically put a pause and stuff and everything because I was with the selling of the Xbox One X and stuff. I really just didn't have a passion for those games as part of my collection and it kind of like got draining having some of that stuff with knowing how much that stuff was worth it's hard to actually like keep certain things like that um and the values for those things are actually just going to dip and there really isn't any monetary value to keep them long term um, so I just felt that it was a necessary get rid of, um, to say the least. I, I just wanted to get rid of it, needed to get rid of it, so I got rid of it. I don't have any regrets for getting rid of it, um, and I feel that in the end, because I'm getting, got that influx of a little bit of cash it helps me continue what I am currently doing, which is collecting stuff for real retro games. And that's what I really, really enjoy. And that's what I want to continue to do. So here we are. We are continuing part three of our Nintendo Entertainment System. This is the part where I'm looking forward to the most. And please remember, Keep track of what games I'm showing because I'm going to ask you to fill out in the comments below what your favorite, favorite game is going to be. Is it the first game that I'm going to show? Xevious. Man, if you ever played this in the arcades or played it on your Nintendo Entertainment System, you can hear the little ting of the bullets reflecting off of the mirror shards. I can still hear them to this day when I mention the word Xevious. I love this game. This is like, this is like, to me, a top tier arcade game. Here's Legends of the Diamond. These guys thought I was done baseball games. <laughs> Here is RBI Baseball 2. RBI Baseball 3. Bo Jackson Baseball, because Bo knows baseball. Here's Wrecking Crew. And I got to tell you, months ago, I had no idea that Mario was in another game. I had no idea. I was like, that kind of actually threw me off when I got that. Here's Jack Nicholas Golf. Actually, Jack Nicholas and the greatest 18 holes of championship golf. Sorry. Here is Tecmo Baseball. Silent Service. Tom and Jerry. I mean, I love Tom and Jerry. Great, great cartoon. Ice hockey, and the game's good too. Ice hockey, this is great because it's so customizable and so much fun. Here is Section Z. WWF, WrestleMania. Here's John Elway's quarterback. I actually remember having this on my Commodore 64 as well. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Was it? Man, 
Manhattan Project. Who remembers the TV show Airwolf? It had an epic opening scene. Here is Adventure Island. Tremendous game. Now, this was a cool story. Um, I got this Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. If you remember earlier, um, might have been my first video, I got a Mario Brothers Duck Hunt and the World Class Track Meet. Well, I ordered, I ordered that game from Double Jump Video Games. They sent me this instead. Even though I asked for the three pack, they sent me this two pack. And I showed them, I emailed them and I showed the thing and everything on the item list. I said, you gotta send me the wrong game. What do you want me to do? And they're like, yeah, you can keep this game. Well, what's called? Cool. We'll send you out the other game where we apologize. That's how great the guys at Double Jump game, video games are. Um, so I just basically wanted to give a shout out to them because this was a freebie game. I didn't have to spend one dime on this game. Here's 10 yard fight. Whoever JH and CH are, thank you. I still have to clean that. Maybe one day I will. Um, Magic Johnson's Fast Break. No, Magic Johnson's Fast Break was, like, if I look at it graphically, it reminds me a lot of uh, Omniplay Basketball. Graphically. Gameplay-wise, it's it's garbage, but graphically, it reminds me of that. Here's Kings of the Beach. Great volleyball game. Here we got a complete Knight Rider. And then we got a complete Jordan versus Bird. Now we got some uh, other games. Metroid. Pac-Man. Defender 2. Gauntlet. Because you know I have Gauntlet 2. I have to have the original Gauntlet. Gyrus. I love Gyrus. Here is Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Collection Edition. And then the original Jeopardy. Here is Tecmo NBA Basketball. Pro Wrestling. Battle Chess. Tag Team Wrestling. Track and Field 2. There's just a lot of fun because there's a lot of depth in it because there's just 
too many different event, events you can do. Here's Tecmo World Wrestling. Touchdown Fever. Bible Adventures. Really solid game, Bible Adventures. Wouldn't think so, but it is. And then finally, the last game to show off in my collection is Journey to the Promised Land Exodus. Um, yeah, also another tremendous fun game. Um, so, what is your favorite game of this lot? Um, I know there's some, like, really good hitters here. Um, my favorite is going to have to be Gyrus. Um, Gyrus was one of my favorite arcade games, and it is also one of my favorite NES games. So, that is my top game. Um, what is your top game? Leave that comment below. Um, I really do appreciate you following me and show, um, my current collection of NES games. Like I said, over time, this collection will grow even further. Um, we're only at like 119 games, and we showed all of them off today, well, over the last three days. Um, so I hope you enjoyed these videos. Um, I do plan on doing other videos. I do need to take several days in between just so I can figure out how I'm going to do it. There's a lot that goes involved um, in in the background when doing these kind of videos. Um, so I really do need to plan this stuff out. And that's why I did certain, certain videos at a certain time, um, just so it would work out timing wise. So I apologize for that, but I just, I need to do need to do things in a certain way to make it work for me. So, anyways, until next time, this is David B. 69 and I will see you next time. Peace out.